What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shy Baby back at it again with another video. Y'all feel what I'm saying? As y'all seen by the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be giving y'all high school advice for back to school. I am gonna be a senior in high school. I had a lot of high school experience, so I asked y'all to give me some questions that y'all wanted to know, and surprisingly, I got a lot of questions. So I'm gonna be answering most of them today in this video. So let's get straight to it. How should I go about my first day? I expect your first day to be confusing and complicated because once you get to high school, you're gonna get guidance on where to go, how to get there, and all of that other stuff. After like about two or three days, they're gonna leave you alone because they figured that you already found out ways to get to your classes. I would tell y'all not to panic because the first day is always difficult, it's always hard, it's always complicated. In terms of curriculum, nothing really happens for like the first two days to be transparent with y'all. For curriculum wise, you don't really gotta worry, but first day wise, as in like knowing your way around your new school. If you're just getting into high school, yes, it's gonna be trouble, but if it's like your first day just in general or you're just going to a new school or whatever, try not to think too hard about it because my freshman year in high school, I wasn't confused, but I didn't understand a lot of things. Like, especially when I felt like my middle school framed my high school because in middle school, basically the people that worked at my high school gets to come to my middle school and like introduce themselves and give us a taste of how the high school is gonna be. Yeah, when I got to high school, I was highly mistaken because it was nothing like how they were acting when they came to visit when I was in middle school. But anyway, I answered the question though because we're going off topic. Next question, advice on making friends. I will tell y'all to be cool with everyone. That doesn't mean that you need to be friends with everyone because in high school, relationships matter. Relationships with teachers and relationships with people in general just matter. And nine times out of 10, it's a boy that's cool with everyone in the school. So if you're one of those people, I would tell you to watch yourself at the same time, but know who your friends are though. How to keep grades up, stay focused. That's my biggest advice to y'all because I'm a procrastinator. I don't know about any one of y'all, but sometimes I wait till the last minute to actually do something. If I know that I need to get it done tomorrow, I'm going to wait until like 10 o'clock that night, 11 o'clock that night for me to do it. Honestly, if y'all have ways to keep yourself focused and not procrastinate like me, please give me some advice. I need some advice on that. If I'm giving y'all advice, y'all give me advice because I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, but stay focused though. Schoolwork and getting out of high school should be your goal. Getting out of high school is definitely my goal. It's been my goal since I came into high school and I knew that it wasn't gonna happen quickly, but I knew that if I was focused, it was gonna go like that. Here I am about to be a senior and I felt like I was in ninth grade like last year. Next question, what supplies are needed? High school wise, I feel like they provide the supplies for you, but it also depends on what type of school you go to though, because some high schools don't supply you with anything and you gotta go get it yourself. But I would tell y'all to get notebooks, have a whole bunch of pens because I cannot tell y'all how many pens I done lost or I had somebody borrow it and never got it back. But I don't really expect people to bring back pens. Anyway, I would tell y'all to have notebooks, pens, pencils if needed, highlighters, a sharpener for pencils, erasers, of course. Keep your things organized. Organization is the key to being in high school. If you are not organized, you're gonna be all over the place and you're not gonna find anything. So I would tell y'all to be organized. I mean, those are my suggestions on supplies that y'all might need. How do you manage school and YouTube? When I was doing it last year, I wasn't uploading very much on YouTube and that was because like I said, I was very focused 
on school just because of the fact that i wanted to finish early which i did i finished i finished on june 3rd but the way how to manage high school and youtube is literally that calendar that y'all see in like almost every one of my videos all i have to do is write what i need to do or write what i want to get done on that calendar nine times out of ten it helps me that one person i do forget but i'm a procrastinator like i said i never really used to upload on youtube like that but i do want to do that that's my goal for this year i want to do multiple things at once because that is my goal for when i'm out of high school too and if y'all didn't know i have a candle business now it's called melts by shy baby i'm gonna put it on the screen right here so y'all could go follow and shop you know there are two scents lavender and jasmine go shop with me y'all basically the way how i manage school and youtube all i have to do is just be focused on my schoolwork itself and also figure out times when i have to record when i have to edit and when i have to post as long as i have that calendar right there and i write down when i want to post do a video edit when i want to do schoolwork like whatever the case may be all i have to do is write it on the calendar and i would tell other youtubers to do that out there too if you're in school and you're a youtuber i would suggest for y'all to get a dry erase calendar you could do the weekly one or the monthly one not really sure on where to get it but i got this one from five below but also get one from amazon too but that's basically the simple fact of how i made this school on youtube is sticking to yourself a good idea yes if you mind your business if you do what you gotta do if you don't worry about no one else but yourself your high school year or years is going to be great you don't have to worry about no drama no stress and i'm talking about like school wise because i don't know what happens in your regular lives but school wise none of that like no one wants to be stressed on top of being stressed with school like school is not it and i will tell y'all that stay in school young kids because when you grow up you're going to realize that school is very stressful especially if you're really trying to make it out of middle school high school college whatever state you're in with school you're gonna see how stressful it is it is not easy at all but sticking to yourself is the best idea that anyone can have because i cannot tell y'all how many times i tried to be a hero to other people and i got myself mixed up in the whole situation that they were in that i wasn't in but they came to me because they wanted help from me y'all know how crazy that is i stay to myself i'm on my own business i stay out of drama whatever anyone has to say to me don't say it to me because I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to be in it. I don't want to do none of that. Whenever I hear something from someone, I just say, oh, okay. It's not that I don't care. It's just that sometimes you can't take information and just run with it. You have to be sure of whatever is going on. But I can care less about whether it's true or not. Even if someone told me, I don't really care, to be honest. I just mind my own business. But that is a good idea. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. What should be my focus as a freshman? As I said in one of these other questions, school, your work, whatever you're doing should be your number one focus. Your goal as a freshman or whichever state you are in high school should be your number one goal is to get out of it. If you're a freshman, your goal is to become a sophomore. If you're a sophomore, your goal is to become a junior. And it goes on and on and on. But your work should really be your focus. Is high school actually that bad? It depends on how you look at it because everyone's experience of high school is different. I've heard so many stories before I even got to high school that high school is bad. I hated high school. Oh, high school wasn't it for me. I used to do this, I used to do that in high school. And when you actually get there, it depends on whatever you go through in high school. Some things could be really hard to the point where you're saying like, fuck high school, high school is not for me. You probably wanna drop out of high school if it's really that bad. If it's not that bad to the point where it's like you can handle all the stress, you can handle whatever is being thrown at you, high school is not gonna be that bad. It is going to go quick like this. I promise y'all, as long as y'all stay out of drama, stay out of all the business, all the gossip that's going around the school, and y'all focus on yourselves and y'all schoolwork, and the goal is to either elevate or get higher 
and higher before everyone else you're going to be okay you're going to be successful in high school high school is not going to be that bad for you but in terms of me i feel like high school it's not it's not that bad it's not easy but it's not bad and that's just my personal opinion should i mess with someone that goes to the same school as me no 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 and the reason why i tell y'all this is because i'm telling y'all whatever y'all get into everybody's gonna know there's an argument harry knows there's an argument sam knows there's an argument whoever else knows and especially if y'all break up guess what you got a second period with harry every single day <laughs> you need that space and that time for y'all to just calm down i feel like it's not healthy with school relationships i did have a school relationship actually twice no i don't even remember i did have a school relationship before and i i see why people don't like it i i see why i don't like it either and i wouldn't recommend anyone to date anyone in their school if that's your choice and you really like the person and you really messing with them then go ahead do it at your own risk but for me that's a no transition from middle school to high school the transition was very confusing because i felt like my middle school didn't teach me anything about high school maybe one or two little things but nothing like nothing no nothing my middle school you had to get up when the teacher says you had to walk in a line down the hallway with like flicking tapes on the floor if you used to go to my middle school whoever's watching this y'all know what i'm talking about yeah go to lunch whenever the teacher told you you had to go every single where with your class and you only had one class one class so everyone that was in your class is in every one of your periods high school is way different high school you get more freedom you get more independence you do mainly everything by yourself only thing you got to do is raise your hand and ask for about the bus but it was confusing because i personally feel like middle school didn't teach me nothing about high school so yep how to stay out of drama stay to yourself as I said in the beginning, I swear to y'all, if y'all stay to y'all selves, high school is going to be a breeze. You don't have to worry about nothing. Nobody else. Nada. Like, that. that's my biggest advice to y'all. Stay out of the utmost drama you can. If you ever get into a conflict with someone, all you gotta do is either solve it or move along. Move along with the rest of your life. Because me personally, I don't like being in drama. I really don't care for it. Even if it involves me, I really don't care for it. As long as I know that me, myself, and I is telling the truth, I don't care what anyone else has to say. I'm gonna go about my day and go about the rest of my life. If you wanna remove yourself, you can remove yourself. I could care less, cause I wasn't worried about you anyway. You could have been my friend for years. Friendships don't phase me no more. If you wanna get lost, get lost. Peace out. Anyway, back to the questions. I wasn't about to answer this question because I feel like it's not really my job to, but tips on losing virginity in high school. That decision is entirely up to you. If you lose it in high school, before, after, it's entirely up to you whenever you're comfortable. One thing is, and I'm talking to my girls out there, do not let anyone pressure you into losing your virginity or even having sex at all because that's not healthy and that's not a person that actually cares about you and your body so please ladies do not do that to yourself if you feel pressure don't do it don't even think about it but in terms of losing your virginity in high school that decision is up to you whoever you lose it to that's up to you simple as that which year in high school is the hardest considering the fact that i didn't go into my senior year yet out of my sophomore freshman wait i just said that backwards out of my freshman sophomore and junior year of high school i would say that my sophomore year was the hardest and that's because everything was online everything was computer wise ninth grade no the ending of ninth grade is march that's when we got hit with, with the pandemic so everything became online but the difference is that in ninth grade we were still new to it so everything was like flowing easily but 
by sophomore year everything just got complicated and confusing and i couldn't even ask for help because they would always tell me oh email this person email 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 and the teacher wouldn't even answer the freaking email like i don't really understand that it's either you don't answer the email or you answer like a few days later like i still need the help a few days later like make it make sense but i would say that my sophomore year was the hardest and that's only because it was online in terms of like the education it wasn't that difficult but i felt like it was difficult because i wasn't able to get the help that i needed so i couldn't really do anything about that it was covid season it still is covid season and now the monkey is running around with the pox and i can't do that that's the last thing i wanted it wasn't even covid before it was covid now it's not even covid it's the pox i'm not doing that But to answer the question, yes, sophomore year, I feel like it was the hardest year for me. Everyone is different. Everyone learns at a different pace also. Sophomore year is easy to others. Sophomore year for me was the hardest. That was the last question though. This video felt kind of short, but if y'all do have any other questions, I'm open to make a part two. I'm open to make a part two to this video or if you want to ask me any other personal questions then y'all can always dm me on instagram text me on snap whatever the case may be y'all know that i'm always open to reply to y'all respond to y'all i'm here for any one of y'all that has questions any advice you could really text me anything but that's the end of my video like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications so y'all know when i post and i'll see y'all in the next video